Hello and good morning. You're watching the latest news spotted only here on Jamaica News Online TV. Details coming up after the break. Guys, this is bigger than me. So I'm going to post a video out here that there's a YouTuber, Royal Jamaican Karen Cecilia, which you guys can go on her channel, watch this for yourself, but I, I'm putting it on here. This is not really news, and many of you, my viewers, might have come across it, and some of this information might not be new to you, but for me, it is a bit shocking. Whether or not the information she shared on here is correct, I am not sure. But it sounds as if she has some real facts about what happened to P Philip Paulwell and a whole lot of mix-up in the PNP party. These are not really my views, but that of the person that you will hear on the tape, which her... YouTube channel is Royal Jamaican Karen Cecilia. Whether or not these are facts, it is really sad what happened to these two people and how interference in what doesn't concern anyone can truly turn out badly. So guys, I want you to listen to this video to the end and make sure you leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Tell me what you think about it. I just put a post out by Facebook and um, as I put out the post I realized that that will not do that alone will not do you need to hear my voice in this so I want to help you with some things because many of you must have surmised by now that I can get intelligence from US intelligence agencies I can and I want to take you back to the beginning of Paul Wells' problems. And Paul Wells' problems, the beginning is 26 years ago, ever since he became member of parliament, and maybe about 20 years ago, when he started moving away from Angela Brownberg and Paul Burke and establishing himself as his own man, which I don't even believe that he has yet. Angela Brownberg has long sought after East Kingston and Port Royal. This is the seat of her ambitions and her dreams. She didn't want Southwest St. Andrew. She, she, she was afraid of the idea of Southwest St. Andrew. So much so that she was a part of the team, along with Portia, who was trying to convince Paul Well to take South St. Andrew and give her East Kingston. She was riding for that. And Paul Well and Portia was riding for that car. Portia didn't want Angela Brownberg in her seat. Portia, Portia was clear about that on numerous occasions if the officers of the party should speak the truth. Portia was clear. Every time her name come up, Portia said, no, sir, no Angela down there. No Angela. No Angela down there. Constituency. Nah, nah, nah. She was clear. It was Paul Well who had to engineer the whole thing for Portia to agree for Angela to go. Paul will have to engineer it. And Paul will engineer it because his people in East Kingston and Port Royal made it clear to him that they want him to stay. They don't want her. Nobody wanted her in East Kingston and Port Royal. And from that day forward, she ramped up her antagonism with Paul Well. And it has come to this now. It has come to the disappearance of Paul Wells' baby. It has come to the fact that the, the U.S. intelligence is deeply involved in what is happening down here. Not only because Paul Wells' first baby mother, baby no, mother number one, as we like to refer to her, is also a federal agent. Um, and I can tell you, she works for the DEA, which is a drug enforcement agency. That's the agency she works for, Paul Wells' baby mother number one. And being a federal agent, I said in my first voice note about this matter, is that she cannot lie about anything regarding the disappearance 
of this um this whore that said that is Paul well, baby that she have and Paul have to know claim the baby and the whore and the baby. Now I am not ruling out the fact that she might still be a person of interest and she might very well still be on the radar of the police. Because in a matter like this, when a person is missing for eight days, the obvious suspects are the husband, boyfriend, man, boyfriend, or the husband, woman, ex-woman, wife, whatever it is. But these people are the usual suspects. And suffice to say, more than one occasion, 99% of the time, it is always one of them. Always. But I am confident in myself confident that Philip Caldwell couldn't arm him baby and the whore who claimed that this baby is his. He couldn't. Philip Caldwell can't even kill a chicken for him Christmas dinner. That's how, that's how much of a kind of a naive and coward Philip Caldwell is. Philip Caldwell, I don't even know if he kill fly. You know, but he couldn't kill a chicken for save him life on Christmas day. In the first instance when we were told that Paul Wells' phone was cloned, Angela Blomberg is a person that cloned Paul Wells' phone. Paul Wells' investigation produced that result. And Paul Wells, in return, um, reported the matter to the FBI, to the police and to the FBI. Why? Because this is international crime. This is not a crime that only the, the, the Jamaican police can handle. Because Paul Will is a public figure. And being a public figure, a former minister of government who still has access to some places, if his phone is cloned, the FBI would be interested. Whether anybody call him yes or no, they would be interested. Because that's what the FBI does. Be interested in things. The FBI interviewed Paul, Paul Well. And anybody who knows the, how the FBI operate, anybody who knows how the FBI operate, when the FBI is sitting down to ask questions, these are questions that they already have the answers to. The asking you of the questions is to see if you're going to lie or to see if you could add anything to whatever they know or take away anything to whatever they know. That is the reason why they ask the questions. FBI don't ask questions that they don't already know the answers to. Trust me on that. So Paul Well reported the matter of the clone of his phone. The FBI got involved. And then the FBI sat down with Paul Well to interview him about the phone. And in interviewing about the phone and talking about the demand for the 50,000 US, the FBI informed Paul Well that the account number that was submitted to him for this $50,000 demand for his phone was an account that is that belongs to Paul Carl, Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke. The FBI informed Paul well of that, that this bank account that they say he was putting this 50,000 US in is Paul Burke and Angela Brown Burke's bank account. The FBI tell Paul well that Paul well know that Paul well have that information. Mark Golden knows and he has this information. Mark Golden knows and he has the information. Lots of, a, a couple other people know. A couple other people know. I would go as far as saying that even PG himself probably know as a former prime minister. I would imagine that the minister of national security in Jamaica also knows. Or he has been given a brief. I would imagine that. I'm not saying right off the bat that he knows, but I would imagine that. FBI would give him a brief as well, or his, his staff would get a brief, you know, on, on, on that matter. The pictures that was being sent to Paul Well, eight-year-old daughter, came from that phone. So it goes without saying that Angela Bromberg is the one sending those pictures. The pictures, now, mind you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joining the two things, the disappearance of being mother number two, and what Angela doing. But it was the beginning of everything. I don't get to the meat of the matter where I can join the two, the two things and make and make it into one. But I get in there. I promise you, the information is slow and, and sometimes these people work slow in terms of sharing. You know? But Paul Well phone with that picture and all of that that was sent to the baby. The baby mother number one. And the baby saw them. That was Angela Blomberg's doing. 
all of that was her doing. The police reported yesterday that they took off a person of interest off of the plane. Now, at first, there was a rumor that the person that they took off the plane was being mother number one, who is the federal agent, was leaving the country. Now, I said to those who were saying that, stop that. Now, no, no, that can't be true. Now, why did I say it can't be true? It can't be true because she has been here. She has been here. She has been here since, since the whole saga. The police must have questioned her more than once. And, and, have her, and, and maybe inform her not to leave the country or something. So it, it is just not a logical thing to say that she attempted to leave the country and then hold her off at the airport. That is not a logical argument because she has been here. And if she has been here, then we must assume that the police question her and we must assume that they say to her, do not move. We're not finished with you yet. She's a federal agent. So there's hardly much the police in Jamaica can do unless they have some hard and fast facts about she being involved at any high rate about the disappearance of this woman and the baby. Right? But international um, um, exchange of information and intelligence and, and, and all of that is kind of funny and fuzzy in, in some respects. Right? But I, I concluded that it wasn't she. Lo and behold, we understand today that the person of interest is a relative of Angela Brownberg. And that person might very well have been involved in the cloning of the phone and the information gathering and sending out of information on Paul Well phone. Now, Jamaican village lawyers them across the country would have been sitting down and trying to figure out the thing a long time ago. We know that you have been doing that, all of you village lawyers out there. We know. You know what the hurtful thing is about all of this? Mark Golden knows. Mark Jefferson Golden, the president of the People's National Party, he knows. And he has Angela Brownberg chairing PMP conference. So guys, if you have watched the video this far, this really needs some comments because it, it it's it's such a mix up. This woman sound like she has all the facts. Is she telling the truth? Is this a rumor? Let's talk about it. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.